All right, Dave, uh, second day in a row. Uh, not, the, not the result you wanted, really uh, close uh, game for second day in a row, hard fought game. Um, just talk about the, uh, the, the result today. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot different feeling than yesterday because it's a conference game. So, I mean, it's, it's a really important game for us. So, it doesn't matter if we lost by two or by 50. You know, it's a loss is a loss. And, uh, yeah, it's a tough one to swallow because I think we really had, and again, I don't fight the effort. I think we, we absolutely played hard. I mean, there's no, you know, there's nothing to say that, uh, that we just weren't playing hard. We didn't play well. I mean, we, really the whole game it was an offensive train wreck. I mean, we, we had uh, the, the first half probably be as much as the second because, we had a real opportunity to break the game open, and we just missed layups and open shots and free throws. Free throws are more the second half, but uh, we just had a, you know, I, I think we were only up seven and a half times, so we should have been up 20. And th th I think that was what bothered me as much as the second half. But uh, again, I mean, it's a, you know, second half, uh, it's not through a lack of effort or anything, but uh, we didn't play well. Um, just little things did not go our way, as Dave said, free throws, missed layups. The effort was 100% there. I think um, in the future, we can obviously work on those things. I know we've all made free throws before. We've all made layups. It's just an off day, so we have to look forward to the future. I know in the ECC standings, they were ranked above us. I don't know exactly what their spot was. So us staying this close with them like gives us a lot of hope for the future, like winnings. We will probably win a lot more of our games, and especially if the little things go our way. UDC, Dave, uh, traditionally one of the top teams in the conference. They're big third in the preseason poll. Um, and you guys held the lead for, I think, 85% of the game today. Got off to a really good start. Um, what uh, what you see down the stretch? Uh, I know that they, they took the lead with about three minutes to go, and yeah, I mean, down the stretch, I think is where their defense was really strong, and it, we we struggled to get some good shots. I don't necessarily think we got great shots all the time. I think throughout the most part of the game, uh, with the with exceptions, I mean, we, we were getting good shots and good looks. I think down the stretch, they, they turned up their defense uh, and then made it tougher for us, and we did have a tougher time to create. And it, you know, it, and it makes a difference. I mean, Natalie. Uh, Played very well yesterday, scoring, and then was uh, was, uh, was was playing okay today as well. And you know, not having her in there makes a difference. Uh, it's another another scorer, another shooter. And um, uh, yeah, I mean, they just they, they clamped down us, and and we didn't we weren't able to generate uh, the, the best shots that we could. Although we got some pretty decent ones that we missed. Um, they, they, to, they, they were definitely the bigger team. Gave you some problems, and Natalie uh, falling out, Samara falling out. Those are two of your better front court players. And just talk about Samara for a little bit. I think she's probably playing the, the best basketball of her career. Yeah, well, she yeah, she's so much improved than when she was a freshman. And as a freshman, she. Uh, I, you know, made the team, didn't play, uh, didn't play at all. But uh, through her four years, it's, you know, it's, it's, there's just an absolute world of difference. You would have never thought, looking at her as a freshman, that be, she'd be the player she was uh, today. So you have to give her credit for, for the improvements that she made. And um, and yeah, no, and this year she's definitely stepped it up to another level where her energy level has been uh, better, uh, more consistent. And uh, last one, Leah. Uh, you guys got a road trip coming up this week. Have high energy every time. I think energy is the biggest part of every game. If you go into a game with a lot of energy, hoping that you're going to win, knowing you're going to win, just go all out, you'll definitely win. I think Bridgeport and Dowling are two good games that we'll have. I mean, last year we've, beat, we've beaten them last year, there and here, I believe. So it'll be a good beginning for the road trip.